I view myself as a little bit of a Grand Central Station. I can talk with a person who's in practice, I can talk with someone who's in the policy world, I know the academic research community, the teaching community. I talk with someone almost every day that is doing work in some field that I'm studying in. It's the only way I can stay abreast of what's going on. Taxes may appear to be boring. Uh, I don't think I've ever had any students say my class was boring. I would be extremely disappointed if I didn't learn something from every class. I oftentimes say that uh, I only look at research questions that students are interested in. The only way I know what students are interested in is by the questions they ask me. If you're a professor and you don't basically listen to your students' questions to motivate you to answers you need to be producing, you're, you're missing a major part of what your academic career is about. I spent much of this spring traveling, uh, presenting a paper. Went to London and it was largely talking to UK companies and to uh, UK policymakers about how the British tax their both domestic companies and their multinationals. That will go directly into uh, materials I'll be teaching in the fall. Basically my class in many ways is a restatement of research I work on. So I find students respond very favorably when you can get up and say, well, let's look at actually what's gone on, or let's look at some actual figures, or let's look at, at what uh, countries are doing. I am very rigorous. I, I take myself seriously. I take my students seriously. It's important to me that at the end of uh, a term that my students feel like they got more than their money's worth. For my class, I'm trying to build in critical thinking, uh, ability to analyze a problem, but at the end, you're gonna have to make judgments that's what leaders do.